Hello! We are going over the 324 biblical prophecies that prove Jesus is the Messiah. You are watching this on the Halagoy channel of YouTube. I'm a Halagoy, and you can be one too. 324 biblical prophecies that prove Jesus is the Messiah. Prophecy number 26. The spiritual rock of Israel. This prophecy is found in the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 6. I will stand there before you by the rock at Horbit. Strike the rock, and water will come out of it for the people to drink. The fulfillment of this prophecy is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. And drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from the spiritual rock that accompanied them. And that rock was Christ. So what was Paul saying? First of all, I would ask the question, what was the rock? What was the water? And what does he mean by saying that the rock was Christ? First of all, what was the rock? The rock was at Horeb. That much we know about it. Um, Horeb is also the place where the burning bush, where Moses encountered the burning bush. It is understood to be another name for Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai, we, we don't know where Mount Sinai is, and one of the theories for the reason why we don't know where Mount Sinai is, is that Mount Sinai was in fact a very humble mountain that didn't look like a majestic mountain most of the time. When the presence of God came upon it in a strong way, it suddenly appeared as a very mighty mountain, but most of the time it just appeared more as a smaller, a smaller hill, a small, a small rocky area. Um, People would say that Horbid was um, the, pla the place, well, we know that that's the place where Moses found the rock. Um, either the rock was found at Mount Sinai, or the rock was Mount Sinai. Either, either one is a possibility. Um, so Moses was commanded to go there and strike the rock. Water would come out of it for the people to drink. This water that comes, that comes out from Mount Sinai is the same water that's later cru Moses crushes up the golden calf and has the people drink of this water much in the same way that a uh, questioned wife, in, according to one of the laws in the Torah, a, que a questionable, if a husband is questioning his wife's um, trueness, he could ask that she drink of water that was mixed in with the, with, with the temple, um, the dirt of the temple. This is a water of judgment that is coming out of this rock. This is not nice, refreshing, happy water. This is water of judgment that they are being asked to drink. God is judging them at the time that he is telling Moses to strike the rock and have the water come out. So, being that the rock is associated with the law, and the water is associated with judgment. What was the Apostle Paul speaking of in the, in the 10th chapter of Corinthians? He's speaking of judgment. He's speaking of the judgment that came upon the children of Israel in the desert and a warning to the Corinthian church that they too 
can receive judgment the same way that the that the children of Israel received, and speaking of Christ as as being there's, you know, associating with Christ with this rock. Now, how does he associate Christ with this rock? There's there's three possibilities that I, that I can think of. One possibility is that the rock was anointed, not necessarily associated with Jesus Christ. The rock was simply anointed. Well, we know this to be the fact. It um, most likely was Mount Sinai. If it wasn't Mount Sinai, it was definitely an anointed rock. Um, the other possibility is that Christ associated his own characteristics with the godly characteristics of judgment. We find this a lot in, in, the, in the life of Christ, in, in the life of Jesus. He often would take on the judgmental qualities um, onto himself. He would speak very bluntly about his opinions of people. Um, at one point he creates, a, he, he makes a, a whip and he drives people out of the temple that he felt did not belong there. Another time he uses his, uh, his ability to curse. He curses a tree so it could not bear fruit in the future. He also spoke of coming judgments against, the, against Jerusalem. So definitely Jesus associated himself with the judgment side of God. The third possibility that's oftentimes the one that is accepted by evangelical and fundamentalist Christians is that Jesus Christ, the person that walked on earth 2,000 years ago, was in fact the physical, physically speaking, the rock that followed Israel around in the desert. Um, if you take the words hyper literally, that that seems to be what Paul would be implying, and that that's been in, placed into the indoctrination of many Christian churches. I cannot believe that that's what Paul was speaking of. It's it's hard to imagine that that's what Paul was speaking of. Most likely, he was associating Jesus, looking at the context of the 10th chapter of Corinthians, he was probably speaking of the, char the judgmental characteristics of Jesus and using them in, in a passage of warning that people needed to live their life correctly. Um, so this, in, in the way that Paul used it, I believe that he used it correctly. It has nothing to do with a prophecy regarding the Messiah, and it in no way shows that Jesus was the Messiah. But yet it was probably a good a good way of, for Paul to express what he wanted to express. The next prophecy we'll be looking at is from Exodus chapter 33 verse 19. His character merciful. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you next time.